Hello everybody. I uh, hope you're all well. Um, in a minute I'm going to be uh, making a start on sanding and uh, lightly sanding these down uh, in preparation for their final coat of stain. Um, I'm just struggling a bit really with the with the heat, to be honest. I mean, it's, it's raining today, or at least it has been raining, and I'm still very hot. Um, so, if, apologies for the ambient noise, but yeah, I've got my fan on because I am hot. Um, I mean, it does tend to get quite warm in my apartment. Um, so, yeah, then days like today where, yes, it's cooler outside can't really have too many windows open um, because, of, because of it raining but we'll, we'll see um, but I am feeling a bit feeling very tired um, I'm very hot, very tired but anyway <clears throat> I'm going to make a start as I mentioned on uh, lightly sanding these and hopefully today um, I can well, my intention today is to get the final clear coat, uh, sorry, the final stain on these, um, and then if possible, get onto the clear coats. But again, I found myself with a day where um, I've got like 50 different things that I want to try and get done today, and there's only so much I can do. And to be honest, today is actually the first day in a while where I pretty much just want to sit down and chill out and do fuck all but at the same time I don't want to do that um, yeah because I don't want to get caught in that trap of just being um, lazy so anyway I'm going to make a start on sanding these um, so yeah I really am exhausted but you, know, you have to excuse me a second don't want that one uh, good time to put the mask on. Uh, now, I know on some of my older videos where I've used these masks and goggles, and I've mentioned about my goggles steaming up. Well, Gally, friend of ours, uh, returned to work. What's Wednesday today? We returned to work on Monday. And he's having to wear a mask and says he's doing his fucking head in because he kept steaming up his goggles. And I was thinking, ah, oh, I know your fucking pain, mate. I know your pain. Uh, oh dear me. Alright. Uh, let's put that down there. Actually, I'm going to soak the cloth first. I'm not going to uh, clean these off with uh, white spirits because it doesn't need it now that I've. Uh, use that to uh, deal with the glue. Now, I think I talked about, talked about this yesterday, but uh, obviously when I put these videos out, it's quite a lot later than when I actually recorded it, as I mentioned before. Um, I think, what's it, today I'm publishing video 27, but I think I'm recording about video 80 or something like that. I don't know what it is. What it will be, yeah. Um, but it's basically a few days after George Lloyd, Floyd, I can't remember his name, my well, apologies, and basically black guy in America uh, died because of a cop kneeling on his neck while in the rest and not 
letting him up. Um, and there's been a lot of protests in America. There's been riots in America, and I've and there's protests um, over here. Um, and just, uh, Stephen Brothers just shared a picture on Facebook of a, a protest in London. I think it might be Hyde Park. And there's probably what a thousand, maybe two thousand people, all grouped together in protest. And like many others who would have seen it, I'm just thinking, okay, I can understand what on the protest and they're going on about Black Lives Matter. Yeah, they do, but every life matters. And the more protesting in the way that they are, whether it be in London or America or wherever it is, uh, is not the way to be doing protests at the minute. Um, because they all seem to just be ignoring COVID-19, of which there is still no cure. So if you've got 2,000 people that have just got together in a protest, and one of them has it, then all of them could be infected. All of those people then take it home, or take it to work. Now, okay, over here at the moment, that's as sort of as far as it's going. It's people getting together and protesting. <coughs> In America, though, they're rioting, and trashing stores and all this kind of stuff. And I seen a video last night of this guy in America, black guy old guy going absolutely ape shit at uh, these protesters and rioters because they fucking rioted his store and uh, they're protesting and rioting about Black Lives Matter blah 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 but they've, they've just absolutely destroyed one of their own shop when I'm, I say one of their own in the, not derogatory, but in the, they're the ones saying that, bringing segregation into it, but they've just destroyed the shop of one of their own, and they've not just destroyed his shop, but fucking robbed him of everything as well. And this was, I think it might be New York, or somewhere like that, well, not New York, but whatever it was, I mean, this guy was going absolutely fucking ape shit, and rightly so, to be fair. Uh, because it doesn't matter who has died, rioting is not the way to deal with it. If you want to protest, okay, do it safely. Um, now, for anyone that doesn't know about the, the story or the situation, basically, I don't know the full details, I only know the bare minimum, right? But, going on the bare minimum, I have my opinion on it, uh, and it would be very different to many other people's opinions. So basically, all I know is that in America, there was this guy that was being arrested, I don't know what for. Uh, I don't know if it was a correct arrest or, or what, I do not know. But, one of the officers, officers that restrained him, basically had him on the floor, on his front, handcuffed with his uh, knee pressing into his neck and from what I've read uh, the guy who had been arrested was 
so that you couldn't breathe. And all this kind of stuff, and he was ignored. And the blood supply was cut off to his brain, and the oxygen supply cut off to his lungs. So, yeah, he died. Now, it would also appear, from what I've heard from a podcast, it would also appear that the medical examiner who did the autopsy has said that his death came from previous underlying factors and that's the reason that he died, not because he was being melted on. The family have had their own autopsy done and yeah, that's come out with a different result, basically one of uh, basically an unlawful death. Um, now, I don't know which point, but like, I think within two days, well no, within one day of me hearing of the death, the officer involved uh, was suspended uh, from his job. And I think there was another officer that was suspended as well. And two days later, he was arrested and charged with the murder. So when it comes to the cops doing their job, I look at it as like this. The police department that he works for have taken the correct action that they need to take. They suspended him, which is the right thing to do. They can't, couldn't fire him, because if they fired him, and then it turned out to be wrongful, then they'd be liable. So you suspend them, which is what he did. What they did then, with the medical examiner's findings, or at least the family's autopsy result, uh, yeah, been arrested and charged with murder. So, as far as the police could be concerned, in my view, they've done their job. But obviously, there's big protests about, well, the reason he had his knee on his neck and blah 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 is because he was black and blah. And I can kind of, I can kind of understand that a little bit. But this is my take on it, right? That it's got nothing to do with the colour of his skin. Now I could be wrong, and I wouldn't be surprised if I am. I mean, I wasn't there. I don't know the cop. And I mean, again, from the podcast I was listening to, it sounds like. He had uh, received 12 previous uh, uh, abuse cases, not abuse, but 12 reports against him while doing his job. Um, and, oh, fuck, I was just told about me, yeah, something should be a bastard. Um, and, Yeah, so people could see that and go, well, if you're with, not necessarily, if you've not been charged with any of those, you can't say he's guilty. Uh, now, maybe it's a police cover-up, maybe it was, you never know. You can only take, take it in one case at a time. If you've been found guilty of doing something wrong, you wouldn't be doing this fucking job, I'm sure. Now, the way I've looked at it is, uh, quite simple. <clears throat> if you're a cop in America, there's anyone you pull over or you meet at any point, there is the possibility that person has got a gun. That there is enough, I think, to warrant a police officer restraining somebody that they're arresting. If, well, 
not even if they feel threatened or anything, the possibility that the person has a weapon, a gun. Now, maybe you've got enough to say I don't know, but something like that, but a gun even worse. Now, I'm not saying this guy had a gun, but what was he being arrested for? Now, if he was innocent, of what he was being arrested for, then um, I wouldn't have thought he would have needed to fight uh, or struggle while being arrested. Because at the end of the day, it doesn't matter if you're black or white, if you struggle while you're being arrested, you're going to be restrained forcibly. And the more you fight, not less of the worse it's going to get, but the more you're going to be restrained. And if you've struggled and fought, and then you're shouting, I can't breathe, I can't breathe, too tight, there's a good chance the police officers are not going to believe you because you've struggled and you um, they've heard it before and they've experienced it before where people have said things like that and tried to take advantage of the situation. Now, is that what happened with this guy? I don't know. Now, if he did uh, respond calmly, didn't resist, didn't fight, didn't argue, didn't shout, and this has happened to him, then yes, the officer should be dealt with for using excessive force that has led to the death of somebody. But, if on the off chance uh, the guy had actually taken part in a crime, and he was thought that there was a possibility that he had a weapon and was struggling. I'm not saying the outcome is right, but I'm saying I can understand the restraint. But, I mean, even I know, normally once you've restrained somebody to a certain point, you don't need to be applying too much pressure to keep them there. Uh, especially not with a knee on the neck because you are basically going to cut off the blood flow to the brain. Um, now, so my view on it is quite a simple one. I can kind of understand the physical restraint of any person being arrested. No matter what colour they are. What I don't like is especially in America, the, the way that they are deciding to go about showing their disgust is to buy it and basically trash everywhere and hold it as all cops are like this, this is a race thing and, and it's like it's, it's not a race thing. Even if it is, it's not a, it's not a race thing, it's a human person. I mean, a friend of mine mentioning that, was it two days ago, there was a woman in London, a young woman in London, beheaded, right, chopped off, fucking head chopped off, by an illegal immigrant. It ain't on the news. Now, no one's going to be claiming racism in that. It's fucking brutal murder. No one's claiming racism, but... Because someone <coughs> that's black has died, other people have jumped on the bandwagon and well, it's racism! Now, this guy might be a racist prick. But that doesn't mean that all cops are racist. It doesn't mean that. It doesn't mean any of that. And the way people are going about it is not the way to deal with it. I mean, don't get me wrong. Yeah, racism is fighting against. And the best way to do it is together. Not by rioting, because what's going to happen? You go rioting, you get caught, you get arrested, it doesn't go well, 
you claim brutality, now there's more rioting. Hmm. Clever plan. The world, the world's in a fucked up situation with COVID as it is, and then you've got this. And I must say, I kind of jokingly mentioned to a few people earlier today, I and mean, I was kind of taking the piss, saying, "Oh, that's probably just Russia and China, isn't it? Taking everybody to the brink with a virus, and then turning us on each other because." It's well documented that the Russians have internet farms where they get people to pose on social media and stuff like that and set things up. So like in America, I mean some of the things they've done in America is, uh, I mean this actually came from a CIA operative, uh, or former CIA operative. Um, who were saying that what they'd got was the Russians had set up uh, a couple of social media pages. One was for like uh, your hardcore Christians in America, and another was for so basically like not hardcore Christians but kind of like your KKK type of people, uh, and another page was uh, all about black religion and what they did both pages separately but obviously together arranged that the uh, the white supremacist group would be having a gathering at one place and across the road is where the black religious group would have their uh, gathering neither knew of the other so on the day when they all turn up and they're there, heads, yeah, across the street, now shits it in the fat. Obviously, it comes down to, oh, racism attack, or ten racist terrorists attack, blah, 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 blah. Which, yeah, it's not good. Really not good. But was set up by the Russians. Uh, and it's not the only time they've done it. So... Taking that into consideration, it just made me think, well, maybe they're doing a similar thing now, but we're going to do a protest, blah, blah, blah. And people turn up because they want to protest. And then certain factions within that do the stupid things, and then it just escalates and gets worse. And it's fucking stupid. <sighs> I mean, it's like, what, last Thursday was the last Thursday of the clap for NHS. Now, I know that it was called clap for carers. I, I didn't want to call it myself because it started off as clap for the NHS and then got expanded to clap for key workers and care workers. And I appreciate everything they've done, but for me, it was about the NHS. Uh, so the last clap was last week uh, because the person who came up with the concept decided 10 weeks was enough, was well, basically enough on me. Uh, so one week later, we've got thousands and thousands of people all gathering together in mass protests, not social distancing, potentially spreading the virus again. And in America, rioting, and that's only going to get worse because there's only one way the police are going to deal with that, and that is with force. And what's that going to cause? Well, it may stop the riots that are going on at that time, but it's going to cause more riots. But the police can't be seen to do nothing, so they're in a catch 22 shit situation now. If somebody ends up dying, that's going to be all over the fucking news, isn't it? Now, if somebody white dies, they're probably over the news, but not that much. If somebody black dies, all hell's going to fucking break loose. That's not being racist. 
it's basically it's what people are wanting to do, wanting to accomplish. I mean, you look at the things that they're doing. I mean, they're doing illegal things, getting arrested, then claiming police brutality. Now, I'm not saying that there isn't brutality. There is going to be in some places. But, if you're off doing illegal shit, don't blame the cops when you get fucking arrested. Piss me off. Piss me off because there's so many people at the moment that have already died from COVID and there are potentially so many more that will. Um, even though the death rates have come down, there are so many more that will. Um, but I mean, it's another thing I've seen on, on uh, social media today. And also I'm getting fed up with it. I'm going on about how uh, the British government have failed because Britain's got the worst death rate in Europe for COVID-19. So yeah, okay, when you say it like that, it doesn't sound good. But no other fucking country in Europe counted deaths outside of the fucking hospitals. So it's obvious we're going to have a higher death rate because we're including every cunt. Whereas in other countries, they're not. They're only counting the people in hospitals, which is a considerably fewer amount of people. But that's not what is being shown. What's being shown is the government have fucking failed and it's all bullshit and blah, 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 because we've got the highest death rate. So when the government are basically trying to say, look, okay, yeah, a lot of people have died, but in the grand scheme of things, things have actually gone very well. So then the social media fucking warriors are jumping on that, giving it, how can you say it's gone well? We've got the highest death rate in Europe, which again, when you say it like that, sounds bad. But that's where you have to follow it up with. Yeah, but that includes all of the deaths, not just the ones in hospitals but that's not what the media are doing and that is pissing me off because it, it's, it's about s bullshit stories it's about fucking who can get the headline it doesn't matter if it's fucking true or not and that, that for me is fucking wrong it shouldn't be about um, who can get the most clicks it should be who can tell the fucking truth end off that's it and I'm sorry, but seeing stuff about fucking Dwight York and Katie Price's child, Harvey being 18 years old and all that kind of stuff in the news, and that ain't fucking news. It really ain't. Where's the news about this person that was beheaded? Where's the news about the amount of children that have taken their own lives in this fucking COVID situation? I ain't hearing none of that. I ain't seeing none of that. That's what the, the media should be fucking working on. And the media should be helping in what we should be doing in these times. How we should be eating, how we should be exercising, how we should be boosting our immune systems. Not fucking stoking the fire with bullshit fucking media. Anyway, rant over because I keep fucking going otherwise. I'm angry. I am angry now. I really am angry. Woke me up a bit anyway. Right, I'm gonna take a break for a minute. I'm gonna get ready to uh, get the last coat on here. Hopefully, these will be. Yeah, I've been drying a few minutes. So, I'll try and get that last coat on. Right, back in a few.